All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I just wanted to uh, do a little video. We all should know about this, but just in case you have somebody that does not know that, um, you know, the slave trade of um, uh, 1619, where um, the Europeans brought them, um, you know, the uh, so-called blacks from, uh, you know, Africa to, um, to America to serve slavery. And which is what also the time that, you know, the Native Americans were, you know, um, overtaken. Well, actually, that's not necessarily true. That was before this. Okay, that was a, while, a little while before then, because Columbus came over in, um, what was it, 1492, right? So, yeah, that was a little before that, so Salagia. Um, but the point of the matter is, you know, after that, after they came over and, you know, enslaved the, um, you know, the Native Americans who were over here, you know, in the time of Columbus, you know, just like 100, maybe 200 years later, you had, um, you know, the other, you know, Europeans come in the 1600s and brought, you know, uh, the Israelites or, you know, so-called black people from Africa to America. Okay, but a lot of people don't know that um that that's actually a prophecy of the Bible, man. That the Bible said, and that would happen. Okay, uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now remember the word Egypt here. All right, remember that. It says, By the way thereof I spake unto thee, and thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Now, in the original uh, Hebrew text, it said, no man shall save you. Okay, it did not say uh, buy. All right, that was a translation error, just to point that out, because somebody's going to be simple. Um, but if you do your research, that was an error. They messed up on a few words in the scriptures when they translated it. Um, then, as I said, remember... The uh, the word Egypt there, all right. It says, "I shall bring the they shall bring you to Egypt." Okay, you'll come to Egypt again by way of ship. Now nobody ever went to ancient Egypt by way of um of ship because this is actually talking about um America, and I'll show you right here. All right, this prophecy clearly is uh referring to um America. Okay, remember I said remember the um. Uh, where it said Egypt, I'll bring you into Egypt. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai, was spiritually crucified in America. How? Because here, you know, you have the, uh, you know, so-called churches in every corner who claim that they, you know, are the true synagogue. Of, you know who they call Christ but they um you know they worship a false being man they worship a false name and a false image so Christ was spiritually you know crucified here in America aka Babylon the Great but it's also called America is also called Sodom and um and, and also called Egypt as well as you see here it says that city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt so America is all of those in the, in one. Okay, so you know you put the two together. You put you know history, what you read in a history book, and then you add that to um. You know the scriptures, and you clearly see that um, the slave trade is clearly a fulfillment of uh of the prophecies, man. Okay, I mean clearly it's talking about that. Right, that's not talking about the Israelites going back to ancient Egypt. Okay, the the Egypt it's talking about is um is America. All right, as we just proven here. Okay, so um, you know I just wanted to, to share that because you know you have guys who are new to this thing, who probably had no idea that you know such a prophecy you know is in the scriptures. So uh yeah you know just hope that's edifying. You know any questions down below. Uh, you can feel free to ask, and I'm going to say shalom.